So I was initially paralyzed in 1984 from a virus. Uh, I began having problems with my hips in the mid to late 80s. We did a uh, hip adductor release with the hopes that that would alleviate some of the problems I was having. It actually destabilized my hips quite a bit. The following year we did a hip flexor release and an adductor release and that completely destabilized my hips. I lived with, I began having chronic pain at that point. Uh, in the early 90s, the pain started to intensify and I sought out treatment. I began taking uh, medication. I was using Vicodin initially and I did get some relief from that for a while. Um, but over the years it subsided quite a bit. Finally, in 2001, I underwent a double femoral osteotomy, and the hope was that that would alleviate the pain, and it actually exacerbated it by quite a bit. It's become increasingly worse over the years. Um, most recently, about a year ago, I took a leave of absence from work because I could no longer predict when my pain was going to flare up and to what extent it was going to flare up. I felt that I was being unfair to other people with whom I worked if I couldn't perform at a level that was adequate to, to what they needed me to perform. Um, so I cut back professionally. Uh, I think that people make assumptions all the time uh, because I have the wheelchair. I think there's assumptions made from that and any discussion about having chronic pain, there's absolutely without question an immediate assumption that I am addicted to some sort of opiate. So I always knew the risks of any surgery I went into and had I had I known the long term potential for the chronic pain, I never would I I wouldn't have gone through the surgeries. I think that surgeons are as a whole, the most arrogant people, maybe lawyers that are equally, but surgeons and are they can do no wrong. And if the surgery is unsuccessful, it is not the fault of the surgeon; it's the fault of the patient. That's been my experience. Um, my experiences, in particular, my last surgery, was complete disbelief in anything that I said post surgically. That my pain was worse. It was just, it was incomprehensible to the surgeon. I can't articulate, no matter how hard, how hard I try, what it's like to have chronic pain. I can't, it's, it's an impossible thing to articulate. The sensation of the pain, the fatigue that it causes, the frustration that it causes. Um, how do you educate somebody on all of that? You, you have to somehow simulate it. And I don't know how you would do that without violating Geneva Convention laws. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, I don't know how can you possibly imagine what it feels like to have a vice grip on you all day long. And I I don't think that doctors, surgeons in particular, they think they can fix anything. And they can't. And my experience has been, they make it worse.